Hey guys, Luna here, and today I'm reviewing the M1911 semi-automatic pistol. One of two semi-automatic pistols in the game alongside the 6 Sour P226, and this guide will help you to pick the best weapons based on their stats, gameplay, and also just so you can see each of the weapons and their variations. Now, the 1911 is a classic, uses the 45 caliber round, and as far as a pistol goes, it's a very solid choice. It comes in four different versions in the game, all the same stats, but they just have different skins. You get the default one, the shark, the toaster, which is my favorite, and the aerial force, which is part of the DLC. For weapon mods, you can choose from three sights, two silencers, and one magazine to customize the weapon. The reflex and red dot sights increase accuracy and handling, and these are better for closer, quick firing. The difference between the two is personal preference, really. I always like the red dot as it gives you a better feel of view. The optical sight however increases range over handling which is perfect for longer distance fights. You won't really be quicker aiming and firing or reloading at mid or longer ranges so handling isn't too much of a factor so this is a good choice especially for a stealthier role. For battle attachments you get two suppressors. They are both the same, they look different. They stop your enemies from hearing your gunshots but they are the same. Finally the magazine. You only have one choice here and it's the extended mag which increases your magazine from 8 to 10. So that's all the customization options for the 1911. But we do have stats that we can look at and we can go over them. Of course, this game doesn't really go into a lot of detail for their stats, but we can still take a lot from them. For damage, the 1911 has a damage stat of 5, one less than the 6 shooters and one more than the other semi-auto pistol. It has a 1-4 to four shot kill range for targets early on, although higher level enemies are going to take a lot more, making this decent early on, but not so useful as you progress, especially with things like zombies. You need to empty several clips just to take one on. For weapon range, the game doesn't account for fall off damage, so you can shoot at your targets from any distance and still do the same amount of damage. However, weapons do have a maximum range and the 1911's range is 5, which means you can still hit targets from a fairly good distance, although you will struggle at longer distances. And what happens is, once you go past the weapon's full range, bullets will simply disappear when you try and shoot them. But really, the further you are, since you don't have a lot of shots, the less likely you are to take down opponents anyway. So this one is definitely much easier at close range, but you can still go for medium if you want to. And that's definitely a good choice, especially if you're playing with a silencer. For fire rate, this is really where the gun starts lagging. It only has a fire rate of 4, and while you don't know the exact rounds per minute, I can say it doesn't keep up with how fast you can pull the trigger. Most of us playing is shooting and spamming the trigger can get off around 600 burns per minute, so that means you're going to be firing far slower than the gun itself shoots, and it's going to lag behind a bit, making it feel a bit sluggish at times. You'll really need to slow things down to get the gun to feel right, rather than spam as fast as you can. I find a better strategy definitely with this gun is to get a kill and then manually reload rather than let the magazine run out and reload that way. And again, for reload times, the stats are not given in game, but you can roughly measure it to be less than two seconds. It's one of the fastest reload times for any weapon in the game, helped along by the gun's high handling stats, which I will go over in a second. So reloading does feel very quick with the gun, and so getting a kill and then reloading rather than using your full magazine definitely feels like the best option to go with. For weapon accuracy, this is the weapon's second highest stat. Usually you can break this down into bullet spread, deviation, and recoil and stuff like that, and also affected by the rate of fire and stability as well. All of that is best seen overall as a spray pattern, and I have one here. The M1911 has a good accuracy overall, helped by low rate of fire, and that essentially means it's not too hard to spam and hit targets at close range, but at longer ranges you might need to slow down a bit. However, where you aim usually is where you're going to hit. No need to burst fire or anything like that to compensate with this one. You can see from the spray pattern that all the bullets are very close together, and that's mainly due to the fact that you can't really fast fire. Our final stat is for the weapons handling, and weapon handling is a bunch of different stats. It's not just one thing and different games count different things. The stat is affected mainly by the weight of the weapon itself and will determine how long it takes for you to aim down sight. Handling also influences your movement speed and how long reloads take and stuff like that. It may also be responsible for hitbox size when hip firing. And in Far Cry 5, the M1911 has one of the best handlings in the game. It's a light weapon like every pistol and so will have decent handling anyway. What specific stats it affects is unclear, but aiming, targeting, reloading, and movement while firing should be better with this gun than most others, so that's something to take into consideration. This makes it a great choice for close quarter combat especially, and taking on multiple targets fast if that's the playstyle you prefer. 
Overall then, this gun is a solid pistol and easy weapon to use. It can be very effective at close range, even to take out a bunch of enemies very quickly if you know what you're doing, and is a great stealth weapon choice as well. However, with only 8 to 10 rounds and a slow firing rate, it can be easy to get overwhelmed, and as you progress, it won't be very effective against tougher opponents, and definitely won't make for a main weapon, but it's still a nice choice and preferable for me over the P226, the only other semi-auto pistol, and definitely over the six shooters as well, which are powerful, but they are slow and take longer to reload. So for a choice of handgun, the M1911 is definitely my favorite. But guys, let me know in the comments what you think of the M1911 and let me know what gun you want me to review next. Make sure to turn on notifications to get vids as soon as they come out, including news, updates, and guides for sure games, including Player Knows Backgrounds and Far Cry 5. Check out links on the screen for more similar videos to this one. And guys, I will see you all next time. Peace out.